Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, this video is actually all about something that you guys have asked me and I am very excited to dive into it. And it's how to have high video quality when creating an Instagram reel or TikTok or some other sort of short form video very similar to these. And so I'm basically just gonna give you my top tips on how to have the best video quality possible when you are creating these videos. Maybe you're noticing that you have very poor video quality when you're creating these. And so I'm gonna give you my top tips on how to avoid that and how to have awesome video quality instead. The first thing we gotta talk about is the size of these videos. So in 2021, most short form video is the are these dimensions right here, 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels. And so this is a really good starting base for you to know, to keep in mind when you're creating short form videos, especially if you are creating them outside of the app. So if you're creating them in something like InShot or iMovie or Final Cut Pro or something like that, you're gonna wanna make sure you make the size 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels. Okay, so just make sure you're keeping that in mind when you are creating reels or TikToks and make sure it's that exact size because that's gonna give you a head start in just having a really great video quality when you upload it into reels or TikTok. All right, so now let's talk about actually filming the videos that you're going to put on your TikTok or Reels. And literally, you know, as you know, like probably 90% of the videos you're going to film are with your phone, right? So we're gonna be using our phones to be filming and I'm not familiar with Android, but if you have an iPhone, listen up because I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can change your phone settings to actually have a better video quality when you're filming videos with your phone. It's a thing, you can actually change it and it's amazing. All right, so you're gonna pull up your phone, go to your settings, scroll all the way down until you get to camera, and then where it says record video, you're gonna tap on that, and this is where you can change your video settings. I recommend having it at 4K if you can, if you have the storage capacity. If you have like higher storage on your phone and you take your photos off your phone every once in a while, or if you have iCloud, it automatically uploads all this to the cloud and you're not keeping all that storage on your phone, use this because there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to because you have that storage online and it doesn't matter how big the files are and it's really not that much bigger. So I recommend at the very least 1080 pixels HD if you can, if you have 4K on your phone, make the video 4K. I don't see why not. And it really does help to make the video quality just a little bit better, just a little bit. <laughs> And then another tip I wanna give here is once you have filmed a video on your phone, you can actually resize it to like TikTok size or real size before you even upload it into the app just to make it a little bit better before you upload it. So if you go to the video, here's a cutie video of my dog and you tap edit in the top right hand corner and then you tap the crop icon in the bottom right hand corner and then in the top right hand corner, there's like these little like squares with like lines in them. If you tap that right up there, then it's going to give you a bunch of options down at the bottom. And you can do um, nine, nine colon, colon, colon. Wow, Ember's being really loud with her bones. I am so sorry. Um, but nine colon 16 is the size that you want it to be. And so if it's not already, mine automatically takes it in that size, but you can go ahead, even if, especially if you're like gonna crop the video down or something, just make sure that it's that size because it's going to help it even be even better quality once you do upload it into Reels or into TikTok. And another thing I wanna mention here too, when it comes to actually filming your videos and having great video quality, is film right inside the app. I mean, honestly, that's one of the easiest ways. And there's some things that you can't really do that for, and that's where you wanna make sure you have good video quality on your phone, that you're resizing it before you upload it. But if possible, and especially if you're doing like lip syncing or a trend or something like that, just film it all right inside the app. Honestly, that gives really great results, and you can see probably the best video quality doing that because you're doing it natively within the app instead of bringing in other videos that you have already taken on your phone. Phone. 
The third thing that I want to mention in this video is to be careful about how often you save and download and then reshare a reel or a TikTok or something like that or a video. Okay, so what I mean by this is I think sometimes when we upload something, we wonder why the quality is so bad. And if you like downloaded that from TikTok and then shared it over to Reels, or maybe you uploaded it to Reels and then you saved it and then shared it over to TikTok, every single time that you do that is going to diminish the quality just a little bit. And every time you do it, it's going to go down and down and down. So just keep that in mind. If that is something that you are doing and you're noticing some low video quality on some of your videos, that might be why. So you need to make sure that you're saving it either when you're editing in Reels, if you want to save it over to TikTok, or you screen record the video in TikTok before you post it on Reels. I actually have a video on how to do that. I'll put it down in the description and right here if you want to go check that out. And it, it's also a way you can save a uh, TikTok without a watermark, which is super nice. But Basically, just make sure you keep that in mind too, that the more that you like save and download and then reshare TikToks or Reels or something along those lines, that it can diminish your quality. And then lastly, I also want to share that at the end of the day, like we can do all of these things to make sure our TikToks and Reels are the right size. We can make sure that we have great quality, video quality as we're filming on our phones and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, Reels and TikTok is going to diminish your quality and it's not going to be the same quality as either straight out of your DSLR camera or out of your phone. Like they're going to diminish it just a little bit. And it's just kind of what it is. And it's not something that we can really change at this point. And yeah, so I just wanted to encourage you in that, that if you feel like your videos are always just a crappy quality and you know you're following the best practices to have great video quality, it's probably not you. It's probably TikTok and Reels. So just keep that in mind too. And it's just kind of a part of the platform and for the videos to be able to load fast enough for people to be able to watch them, they automatically resize, diminish the quality a little bit so that people can enjoy the content and have it load super, super fast. So just keep that in mind. It's not the same as YouTube or something along those lines where you can have the exact same quality as you filmed it. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already because I upload videos every single week on Tuesday at noon Eastern Standard Time all about Instagram Reels, Instagram marketing, social media, content creation, and it's something I just absolutely love doing. I love creating these videos and sharing them with you guys. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, just know that I am so grateful for you. I see you. I see you guys in the comments and so many of you had DM me on Instagram. DM, oh my gosh, um, DM me on Instagram and we chat there and it's just so much fun. I love this community that is happening over here and you guys are literally the best. And with that said to you, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at Steph Stephanie Lynn Case. I answer all my DMs over there. I also answer all my comments here on my channel still. So if you have any questions, reach out to me in any capacity. I would love to help you um, when it comes to your reels or anything else and if you have any ideas for like any other videos you want to see um yeah just drop a comment or dm me and let me know because that's literally how i came up with this video idea because one of you guys wanted to see it so let me know if there's anything else you want to see in my channel and can't wait to see you guys in next week's video at tuesday at noon eastern standard time bye guys oh you're so cute you girlfriend. Good girl. Okay. Okay. You can go. Go get your bone. Mm -hmm.